everybody, this is Overboy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2001 movie, Jane and Silent Bob Strike Back. The movie is written and directed it by Kevin Smith, and uh, this movie follows Jane and Silent Bob as they go on a cross-country road trip to try and stop the rights to their, uh, to the movie based on uh, their comic books, uh, Blunt Man and Chronic, from getting turned into a movie. Um, and along the way they, uh, meet some girls that they ride with partway, uh, and Jay actually even starts to have a little bit of a relationship with one of them named Justice and everything, and then the other part of the way they're, like, uh, trying to escape from the feds with this monkey that they stole from a lab and everything, and they were, uh, and then the rest of the movie is when they get to Hollywood, they're trying to find a way to stop it. And everything but this is a really good one it was intended to be the end of the view askew universe movies and everything kevin smith wanted to move on with his career and do movies that weren't set in this universe and everything but a few years later he ended up doing clerks too and uh the new movie is being released today uh jane and silent bob reboot but um I thought this was a really, really funny movie and everything. It has a lot of self-referential humor. It's very meta and everything, but I still really love it. Um, uh, Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith are hilarious as Jay and Silent Bob, as always. And this movie features cameos from characters throughout the last four movies. Um, we see Dante and Randall at the beginning of the movie, uh, once again played by... Brian O'Halloran and uh, Jeff Anderson, and then we see uh, Banky and uh, Brody, both played by Jason Lee at different parts of the movie, and then uh, Holden from Chasing Amy, played by Ben Affleck again. We even see... Uh, Alyssa from Chasing Amy, and it just, it's just, it's really awesome getting to see all these characters again and everything, it kind of brings everything full circle and everything, um, most of them are just like cameos or just in there for a few minutes, but still just cool getting to see them, and then there's tons and tons of awesome cameos, uh, Chris Rock, uh, James Vanderbeek, Jason Biggs, uh, so many, uh, Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill, which Mark Hamill is my favorite one, is Cockknocker. Uh, I just absolutely love him and this, he, he's absolutely hilarious. Carrie Fisher was pretty funny too, though. Um, and we get so many other cameos. Judd Nelson, there's just, there's a bunch of them throughout this whole movie. Even Gus Van Zandt, who directed Good Will Hunting, because in this movie they're making Good Will Hunting too. M Matt Damon has a cameo in here, and Ben Affleck is playing himself in here as well, it's awesome and hilarious, and Wes Craven doing Scream 4, uh, it just, there's a lot of awesome, uh, references to movies from that time period and stuff, and just is awesome, and the rest of the main cast, uh, for this movie is all pretty good too, um, Shannon Elizabeth plays Justice, who is Jay's love interest, and she's really good, um, I, I thought, I really liked her in this movie, um, the chemistry between her and Jason Mewes was really good and everything. Um, Elizabeth Deshku plays Sissy, which I thought was really cool because you get to see her in something outside of Buffy and Angel and everything. She was really good in here. And Allie Larder plays Chrissy, and she's really good too. Uh, all of, all four of these girls have really good chemistry. And uh, Jennifer Schwalbach Smith who is Kevin Smith's wife, that plays Missy, and the four of them work really good together and everything, and they're all good in this, um, and it's even cool, uh, Harley Quinn Smith has a cameo at the very beginning of the movie as a baby, she plays the baby version of Silent Bob, which I thought was really cool too, um, and Will Ferrell plays Wildlife Marshal Will and Holy, who is, uh, trying to get, uh, trying to get the monkey from Jay and Silent Bob, and he, he's really, really good too, um, he's hilarious at times, he's really over the top like you expect from Will Ferrell, and he does act really dumb and stuff like you expect from Will Ferrell, 
and everything, but I, I really liked him in this movie, and uh, this is just a really good one. It has really good dialogue, which you expect from Kevin Smith and everything, and while this one somewhat feels like more of a Hollywood movie, kind of like Dogma did, this one also does feel like a smaller scale movie, like what uh, you expect from the Kevin Smith movies. It feels more like it's on the same level of movies like uh, Mall Rats and uh, uh, Chasing Amy and everything. So I, I like that about it a lot too and everything. But it, it was really cool getting to see all these big celebrities in here and everything. But Chris Rock had me cracking up though. He, uh, he was just uh, really funny. His character's name is Chaka Luther King. He's like the director of the Jay and Silent Bob movie. He, he cracked me up, and the cameo with uh, Jason ba uh, Jason Biggs and uh, James Vanderbeek is also hilarious, and everything. I like the part where Jay's talking about how uh, he thinks that Dawson should have drowned Pacey for stealing Joey. I thought that was hilarious, and everything. I was like, yeah, I felt the same way too when I watched that episode. But yeah, I, I just really love Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Strike Back. It's a really really funny movie and it's one of the best in the in the franchise it's probably my third favorite actually but uh, i really do enjoy this movie and i can't wait to see jay and silent bob reboot i'm going to see it here in just a few hours with my friend and i can't wait to go see it and everything but uh let me know in the comments what you think of this movie i know this one's really popular and everything in the franchise uh, among fans i know when it first came out it wasn't like a huge hit but fans have it's getting the big following and stuff, so. But let me know in the comments what you think of this movie, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and have a good day, everybody.